New at six, according to the Pew Research Center, one in five aerospace and defense companies are now run by women. And last month, NASA promoted the first woman in their history to head the Marshall Space Flight Center on Redstone Arsenal. I had the chance to meet and talk with new center director and Tennessee Valley native Jody Singer. It makes you very proud to be a native of North Alabama and then to see a dream come true. For Jody Singer, dreaming is not enough. It has to go hand in hand with doing. And she's done plenty of both. It's a drive she's had all her life. It took her from the farm in Hartzell where she grew up, fascinated by the rockets her friend's dads were building at Redstone, to the University of Alabama where she earned her degree in industrial engineering in 1983 and finally to the cubicles labs testing and manufacturing facilities of the Marshall Space Flight Center. You just think about the science, the technology, what it does for this nation. It makes me very proud to be something involved in something larger than myself. She is a rocket rock star around here. Our interview had to wait while she greeted some guests outside. Enjoy. Enjoy. Welcome. Welcome. With an easy smile and infectious attitude, she exudes an excitement and enthusiasm for the space program and her team's role in it. She is now the 14th director of the Marshall Space Flight Center and almost has to be reminded of that thick glass ceiling she shattered last month. And the first woman to hold that. Position. And the first woman. Very proud to be. Singer began her engineering career with NASA right here at Marshall in 1985, just two years after graduation. And two years after NASA finally put a woman in space, the Russians did that 20 years earlier. It was a male-dominated industry, but that never phased her. Well, I guess it's, it's always thinking the impossible is possible. <laughs> she credits many mentors, men and women, with challenging her and guiding her along her path to the top. You know, I will tell you that when I first came into NASA, Marshall Space Flight Center, many of the times I was the only woman in a room. But I will tell you, I've always felt respected and, and given the opportunity and had a lot of folks that invested in me and, and made a difference. She's proud of the hard work she's done to get here and the strides women in the private sector have made as well. Consider this, four out of the top five defense and aerospace businesses, all of which have a large footprint in North Alabama, are run by women. Northrop Grumman's Kathy Warden, Lockheed Martin's Marilyn Hewson, General Dynamics' Phoebe Novakovic, and Leanne Corette with Boeing's Defense, Space, and Security Division. And isn't that fantastic? There's that enthusiasm again. In fact, according to Pew Research Center, women now account for one out of five of the CEOs in aerospace and defense companies. And Singer is paying it forward. That's one of the things that is important to me as I go forward is giving others the opportunity to, to make dreams come true. The next big dream coming true out here is the Space Launch System, the SLS. Singer's team is pulling together nearly a thousand companies across 40 states that are working together on different components to eventually send men back to the moon and to Mars on top of the most powerful rocket ever built. Will they do it? Singer doesn't hesitate. Absolutely. Another impossible dream made possible. It's an attitude she instills in everyone she meets, cheering on the next generation of men and women to quite literally reach for the stars. You know that benefit is bigger than ourselves and it's something that makes a difference not only for this nation but for the world. Singer oversees nearly 6,000 civil service and contractor employees and an annual budget of about $2.8 billion. She says her team is on target for that first launch of the SLS in 2020.